G'day guys, we're on a four month adventure camping and exploring some of the most remote and wildest parts of Australia while living from the land and sea. Holy moly, it's the largest fish in the ocean. That's what we're searching for. Look, look at the size of that. I can see sharks in the shallows here cruising around the perimeter of the sand cave. This is the time of the day that they love feeding. We are going to tell you what we have to in a second. Holy, check out these colors, guys. That water, the blue is incredible. The white sandy beaches. This is the part of the Great Barrier Reef we love, hey, friend. I know, I'm pinching myself, but get excited with us, guys, because in this episode, we are in search of the biggest fish in the ocean. Fingers crossed we can find it. This is going to be exciting, guys. Let's get straight to it. Yeah, subscribe. Back to the boat? Back to the boat. Let's do it. So this group of islands, the water color here is just magic, hey? This place really is paradise, but we've only got time for a quick swim. We're gonna put the drone in the air and see if we spot any big animals. But we've actually got a lot of miles to go between here and where we're hoping to dive over the next couple of days. The wind's meant to be backing down and that gives us a chance to dive right out in the deep off the continental shelf. Hopefully that's where all the, uh, the bigger animals are. Just uh, really don't want to leave when it's like this, hey, but we've got to go try and catch the good weather out off the drop off. Hey, Jack, what's that dark shot over there? It's a huge loggerhead. Jack just spotted some bay fish over here. I think he's gonna have a cast. There's all this ripple you see on the surface here. That's all bay fish. Oh, what's this? <gasps> oh, big dark shadow. Is that a, maybe a shark, eh? Is it a shark or a huge GT? A shark. A shark. Okay. Oh, this. Oh, they're jumping everywhere. Ooh. Oh. Tom's chasing them there. Quick! Alright, get ready. Get ready, this is right into the strike zone. Look at all, so much bait fish there. Surely there's something big. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is he on it or not? No, he's dropped it. Oh no! That was a nice GT, I think. Bummer. Oh, there's something behind. So, yep. Yeah. Oh, oh no! no. It he's off. on it, he's chasing it, he's chasing it! What the hell? Oh, they're on it, they're on it, on it! He's oh, off, but it's yeah, yeah. only more chasing it! They're chasing it! Oh, oh! What a strike that was! He's coming, come on! Come on, mate! No. Oh, ready, ready, ready! Oh. Oh. oh! What's going on, guys? Alright, this is our last try, and then we're gonna jump in there. There's a big school of fusiliers here. Hopefully, something is underneath them and hungry. Oh, they're just there as well. Oh, look at them! <laughs> Holy moly, that was insane. A big slicing mackerel, I think. Yeah, I reckon it is. I might come up the top deck there, friend. Come up the top. Oh, don't lose this yet. Ooh, it's very wobbly up here. We've got one, finally. And it's cool fishing from up the top here. It's, it's pretty big. Woo! Look at this. It's just a matter of time. That whole reef edge there has got so much bait fish that's getting chased. Oh! <laughs> Holy moly! That was epic! It's a big Spanish mackerel. Yeah, 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 look at it. Oh. Oh, look at the thing! Wow, well, it's pretty challenging from up here, eh? Oh. We better get down to water level and try landing. 
meet you down the back. Jeez. It's a big one, eh? Oh, holy moly! Wow. Look at the size of that! Oh, this is too big for us to eat, Fran. We're gonna have to get the hooks out. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's gonna spit it on me. <laughs> what an absolute beauty! I'm gonna let him go. See you, mate. He's off. That oh, was epic. Yeah. I think it's time to throw a mask and snorkel on. Jump in there. There's a heap of action going on at the moment. Let's try and spear something a little bit more our size. And that's why we love spear fishing, because we can be very selective, right? That's right. Let's go do it. Land ahoy! Not much sand on this one, but this is us for tonight. We might jump in first to see if we can catch dinner, and then we're gonna go set up camp. Hopefully we got enough sand. All right, the objective is now to spear some dinner and we're hoping to get a species that we haven't yet got on this trip. Reefs like this are generally home to lots of different species, so fingers crossed we can find a new one. Fran's just found some worms in her wetsuit. <laughs> She's not having a good time. Where'd they come from? I don't know. <laughs> some sort of insects must have laid eggs in my wetsuit. So disgusting. Beautiful green job fish. Now these guys are pretty prized by Spiros all around the world because they're generally quite challenging to, to shoot. But man, we just got lucky there. That was first drop under the boat. There's a school of these guys. Uh, we did shoot one of these, but we gave it away as a gift to um, gift to some of the islanders up north. Really keen to eat this one. And I'm even more keen to get back in the water because it is firing down there at the moment. Let's go see what else we can see. Shoot them with a the camera this time. That place is a Spiro's paradise down there. Big schools of green job fish, coral trout everywhere, there's mackerels, trevallies, mary rats, like, oh wow, this is what we love about these remote trips. You find little secret spots like that where, man, it's just as good as it gets, hey? Amazing. Now, um, let's head on in and see if we can find somewhere to set up camp on this sand cat. Very nice. Nice, huh? I reckon we can put the swag just right up the top there. Got it? Yep. So with these sand when there's no bird nests or anything like that on them, it means they get flooded on the high tide. And that's what'll happen here, but the high tide is not till tomorrow. So we can sleep tonight. We've got to get out of here before 11 a.m. tomorrow. No sleep-ins for you. No sleep-ins allowed. Alarm clock at 11. <laughs> makes such a difference but that is the exact spot where you want to shoot a fish that'll just be instantly lights out and it makes a big difference because he doesn't get a chance to kick around and doesn't set all the sharks off in the area so if you can especially when the sharks are around that's where you want to be aiming Tonight in the Castaway Speech Kitchen, the most back to basic curry you'll ever make. This is a jaw fish curry, obviously, and ingredients potatoes, onions, garlic, ginger, lemon, salt, pepper, coconut cream, and yellow curry paste. 
chop them all up, fry them, stir them with the curry paste, add the coconut cream, add the veggie stock and let them simmer for a while. This is such an amazing spot, hey, that you just feel like quite literally surrounded by Mother Nature. So I could see sharks in the shallows here cruising around the perimeter of the sand cave. This is the time of the day that they love feeding. There's birds flying overhead. Uh, they won't be able to come and roost, but they might come and uh, rest their wings on this sand cave tonight. And there's turtles popping their heads up. What an amazing time of the day, hey? But don't go anywhere, guys, because tomorrow, man, we're really looking forward to tomorrow. We're meant to be having some nice weather and we are heading out off the continental shelf in search of some absolute giants of the deep. So stick with us guys, we'll uh, have a bit of a feed and then see you guys bright and early in the morning. For you. Yum, thank you. No Amazing. Dinner and a show. Morning. Morning. It's not glassy as we thought. <laughs> There's a little bit of wind, unfortunately. What a shame, but I think we're going to stick to our plan and head out off the continental shelf. Might just be a bit bumpier than we'd hoped. We are just about out of here. Unfortunately, that wind's picking up more and more. Uh, we're going to go for it and see how we go. All right, it's a bit of an obstacle course to get out of here, so we gotta be quick. There's these big rocks everywhere, which we really, really don't wanna hit. Big prop adjusters, those ones. All right, how are we gonna do this? Big one up the front, big one to the side, big one out the back. How does it look from up the top, Fran? So beautiful. Yeah, nice. All righty, let's get out of here. Hopefully we can just float over this tiny little sandbank here. We've got just enough water to get out at the moment. Pretty shallow down there, There's some beautiful coral. Yeah, the water is definitely a bit clearer today. Hopefully um, that means it's gonna be nice and clear where we're going. Alrighty, next stop we are off the continental shelf in search of some giants. Holy moly! Oh, is that what just happened, Fran? You almost ran a whale shark over. <laughs> no way! What are the chances? So. We are just kind of arriving in the general area where we're hoping to get to. And friends like, stop, 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 stop. I'll turn the motors off. And just right in front of the boat was a whale shark, which is the largest fish in the ocean. And that's what we're searching for. No way did we think we'd come across one straight away though. I think we might have scared that guy down, but we will have to get the drone up in the air, Fran. What an amazing like start. So that area we're looking for these giant whale sharks out on the continental shelf is also home to our favorite fish, the dog tooth tuna. Uh, I can't help it. We're gonna jump in on a couple of these spots and just see if there are doggies here. Um, let's see how we go. Looks fishy. I'm so excited. It's been a couple of months since we've had the chance to even look in an area where there might be a doggy. And also, the doggies like pressure points, which is probably where a whale shark would feed as well. Oh. Woo. Woo. Good luck. It's amazing how the largest fish in the ocean can be quite hard to find. Uh, we'll be flying the drone, but it's just a huge area here of big open ocean. We haven't been able to spot any other ones, but it's time to jump in here and we're gonna have a swim on this reef here. It looks absolutely beautiful, nice and clear. Let's get in there, Fran.
The sharks are super curious. Definitely shot that buffalo. It was a beauty. Coronation trout. Oh, it was so pretty. A beautiful, hey? Oh, it was the prettiest I ever seen. Yeah, amazing. It's huge. And then there's big coral trout everywhere. This is this place is incredible. Mm -hmm. The water is crystal clear. Lunch on the roof. See you up there. The date. <laughs> nice view. Welcome to the rooftop restaurant. Thank, thank you very much. This is going to give us a bit of a vantage point to see if we can spot any of those big whale sharks that have been eluding us. Oh, there's one. Yeah, just here. Oh, holy shit. That's so cool. We couldn't believe our luck and jumped straight in. This gentle giant is called a whale shark, but interestingly, it's neither a whale nor a shark. They're actually the largest fish in the ocean. While their gigantic size can be pretty intimidating at first, they're super chilled and actually feed on the smallest critters in the ocean. Plankton that are so small, we swim right past them without even noticing. But his big mouth makes sure he filters enough of these little guys for a feed. Rarely seen on this side of Australia, this was a pretty amazing encounter. just spotted something from the drone that looks like a big school of fish all aggregating in one spot and I swear there's Maori sea perch in on they're bright yellow and stand out if this is uh, what I think it is like a spawning aggregation with Maori sea perch involved this will be epic so I'm gonna zoom up there Fran's getting her mask ready and we're gonna jump in and then film it and see what's going on
guys, that's everything. How was your snorkel? That was amazing. There was a big school of black and white snapper, which I think that's what Jack's on the drone. And there were like GTs, trout, MSV, all hiding in between the school of black and white snapper. Nice. It was um, really Amazing, good. eh? Yeah. Good stuff. Feeling like ceviche for dinner, for sunset. Nice. The raw fish never hurt? No way, friend. Oh, we're just anchored up in a nice sandy patch here. We're gonna have sunset date night on the roof. Watch sunset back over where mainland Australia would be, but we're so far offshore, it's gonna set over the horizon. Maybe even a green flash, Fran. Yeah. Beautiful little afternoon, isn't it? We got our little friend. You can stay here for tonight, but just one rule. Not pooping on our boat. So for dinner tonight, we're gonna have ceviche and chips. Yum, yum. And guys, what an amazing day, Hayes. Yeah. So it was days like this, which are the reason we do these long four month trips to come and explain, come and explore places like this. Amazing, hey? Yeah, so thanks so much for coming along and we'll see you next Sunday. See you bright and early in the morning, guys. Plenty more to come. <laughs>